Well, after arriving at Newark Airport, uh, I still didn't know where Springfield, New Jersey was at. And I went out and I got my golf bag and my little suitcase and uh, what stuff I had. And I said, you know, where is Balderstraw? And the gentleman, the taxi cab driver says to me, Balderstraw. And I said, yes, I need to go to Springfield, New Jersey. I said, is there any motels out there, any place close uh, where a man can stay? And he said, well, there's quite a few motels on, on <laughs> Highway 22 uh, in Springfield. So I took him for his word and we jumped in the cab and, and he brought me here and the first hotel that we showed up uh, at was actually the the Union Motor Lodge and uh, we drove right in here and uh, I got the second room uh, up here on the right and uh, you know I got in about probably about four o'clock in the afternoon and that evening uh, we started getting a little hungry around six six thirty seven o'clock and I said well I think it's time to go to dinner so I put on my pair of slacks my golf shirt and I went down uh, into the lobby and I asked him where the restaurant was at. And it was, as you can see, it's just across the parkway there. And uh, they stopped me at the door. And inside the restaurant, they have a, a sign there saying, Jackets Required. Well, I didn't own a jacket, so I had to go someplace to eat. So I asked the gentleman behind the desk, I said, uh, is there any restaurants around here? And uh, they, they didn't have at the time the, the fast food restaurants that they have around now. This is 13 years later. But they said that there was a Chinese restaurant just down the road here on Highway 22. And that's where I had my meals uh, every evening. Coming here again, I think, the, I think the, the biggest thing that I missed is Chuck Smith. Uh, Chuck Smith was uh, the owner of Central Cadillac here in, in, uh, in New Jersey. And uh, when I got with Chuck Smith, he picked me up at the hotel. Uh, it would take me home uh, every evening. And we used to sit up on the balcony there and drink beer. And, I think the, probably the most enjoyable thing about it is, is I sat there every day after I finished and not one person ever asked me for my autograph. The memories are great. I, I hope that I can finish as high as I did in 67. Uh, if not, uh, just coming back, visiting Balderstraw, seeing all my old friends, drinking a few beers, and I know Chuck Smith watching me, so uh, what can I say? I hope come Sunday I'll be able to take all the money back to Texas.